When modeling in Creo Parametric, there are many ways one can go about selecting entities. In this video, I will show how to use the control and shift keys to make selection of entities. If you needed to select a group of edges, you can select them using the control key. This will allow the individual selected entities to be group selected for a common operation. If you have a lot of entities to select, this may not be the most effective way to go about making this selection. I'm going to select this edge and then the shift key and select this extent reference on the end here. Notice that the propagation picks up all of the edge geometry in between. I can still use the control key if there are other groups of edge chains that I need to select and the shift key to do the range selection if I need to. And this will allow me to apply all selected entities to a common feature or operation. One can use the control and shift keys to select features from the model tree as well. I'm going to hold down my control key and select the extrude one and extrude three features. You can see that both features are selected by name in the tree and by graphic representation in the main window. Now I'm going to select the extrude one feature, then the shift key on my keyboard, then the extrude three feature. You'll notice that the extrude one and the extrude three features are selected and so is the feature between the two extrude two. So you get a range of selection using the shift key whereas you have individual selection when you use the control key. Thank you.